Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my Godzilla movie review. I saw this movie this past weekend, and uh, it was kind of what I expected. Um, let me start off by saying I'm not a fan of Godzilla or giant monster movies. I don't like Kaiju. I don't like Pacific Rim. I didn't even bother with Pacific Rim 2. I don't like Godzilla. I don't like King Kong. I don't didn't like Power Rangers. I've never understood the fascination with these giant monster movies. People say you got to approach them like a disaster movie. I don't think it is a disaster. It's a giant monster that you can kill. Um, I don't care what they say. I don't know why they send 10 airplanes after these giant monsters. They need to go send an entire air force. There's no way they can survive our firepower. You can't fire... See, it's different from a disaster movie because you can't fire missiles at a flood. You can't fire missiles at a hurricane and stop it. That's why I don't buy the disaster thing. I just inherently, I think to be a fan of these movies, you have to inherently believe that a giant monster is cool. And I do not think that that is cool. Under no circumstances. I'm like, what are the trials and tribulations of Godzilla? There's just nothing to Godzilla. Godzilla's not interesting. It's just a giant monster. And I just personally don't think it's cool. If someone else thinks it's cool, that's fine. Um, this movie, if I had to describe it in one word... Um, is it was just predictable. Um, I didn't like it. I thought it was boring and predictable. I hated all the characters. I wanted all of them to die. Why is it when you have these giant monsters, you always have one group of people? Oh, we have, oh they they're, they're creatures. We should respect them. We should love them. We should respect life. I'm, I'm going to spoil the movie here because I don't care. Don't go see this movie. Um, I really didn't like it. On the Star Strider scale, I gave it a 35. And and really, you know, no, I give it a 30. Um, there's a character in here played by Vera Farmiga. The entire thing, what happens is she thinks that humans are evil because they're polluting the world and causing war. Now, the people who cause war and pollute are usually all the heads of industries and the one it's the same group of people those people always survive disasters like this because they have the resources and money to fly away or go to some bunker on a mountain all she does is murder a bunch of innocent poor people by releasing all these monsters they destroy entire villages millions of people die because she wants to save the trees and then i'm supposed to feel something for her. i'm supposed to feel bad her kid bought into it her kid helped her her kid could have slapped the thing out of her hand. Her kid should have died too. I wanted them all to die. Kin, I think it was Kin Watanabe or some somebody around there. Oh, we we gotta. Every character is an idiot, except maybe Kyle Chandler's character. I hated all of them. Uh, Sally Hawkins was good in this, uh, but she's out of the picture early. Um, I just I I. I, I didn't like this movie. I, I give it a 30. I think it's a waste of time. I was never excited for it. I'm not excited for King Kong. Um, I, I just don't like these kinds of movies. I, f I find them simplistic, predictable, boring. Um, I, I, and you know, I, I like movies. Like I love Independence Day. You know, I even like 2012 to a degree. Um, uh, just something about giant monsters. I don't... I, I just don't like, you know, at first I was like, why don't you just fire a nuke? And then I was like, oh, okay, the nukes actually heal them. We still have enough firepower to kill these things. Come on. The, uh, it, it's just, it's stupid. It, it's just stupid. Anyways, you know, I'm sorry. I know Godzilla's got its fans. I respect that. A, a lot of people like those things. Um, I am not into any of that stuff. Um, so anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.